So, given a function y equal to f of x, sometimes we may not have function y equal to f of, f of x, but just data points x i or y i or methods to just generate this data points x i x i comma y i. Okay. So, no matter how we do that, let us assume that we have some kind of a curve y equal to f of x and we are interested in obtaining uh, the uh, dif dif differentiating and obtaining the value d y by d x. Okay. What it means, uh, what it means geometrically is that differentiation is nothing but obtaining slope of the tangent seg uh, segment to the curve at the desired point. Okay. So, this is the curve f of x and the slope of the tangent at f of x is uh, just the numerical derivative. Okay. Uh, but when if, if f of x is not available or if it is very difficult to differentiate this f of x analytically, we can resort to numerical techniques and numerical techniques this is the numerical approximation for, for the f of x. dy by dx definition is nothing but limit as delta x tends to 0 delta y divided by delta x which we can approximately write as equal to y of i plus 1 minus y i divided by x i plus 1 minus x i. This is delta x and the denominator uh, the numerator is delta y. Okay. So, as we bring x i plus 1 closer and closer to x i, uh, we will start approaching the numerical derivative will start approaching the analytical or the actual derivative d y by d x. We cannot take x i plus 1 very close to x i because then round of errors will start dominating. Uh, this particular method is just a first order method to find a numerical differentiation. We will use Taylor series expansion in order to get higher order and, mo and more accurate methods for numerical differentiation. Uh, so, that is the overall general setup and if we compare from the slope of the uh, tangent, the actual tangent to this with the numerical uh, approximation of the tangent. So, in this particular figure when we when we look at that as you can compare the two red lines the slope is different in those two cases. Okay. So, what is happening is that the numerical approximation is not going to be an exact representation of the differentiation, but it is going to be an approximate representation of the differentiation. Uh, we have So, at any point x i, we want to find d y by d x, say y equal to some function f of x, at x equal to some x i, we want to compute d y by d x. That is the question that we are trying to ask ourselves, uh, d y by d x is nothing but the slope of the curve f x versus x at value x i. So, let us make the curve in this form, let us consider this as point i, let us consider this as point i plus 1 and let this be the point i minus 1. Okay. So, we are interested in finding out the slope of this particular curve, the slope of this curve uh, is the slope of the tangent to this curve at point i. So, I will just draw the tangent segment over here. So, the yellow represents the true derivative d y by d x. Okay. We are plotting x versus y, x as the abscissa, y as the ordinate. Okay. Uh, so, at x equal to x i, we can write d y by d x at i as approximately equal to y i plus 1 minus y i divided by x i plus 1 minus x i. Okay. Uh, this is the forward difference form. Okay. And this can be represented as a line the slope of the line joining the points uh, x i y i with the point x i plus 1 y i plus 1. Okay. So, 
So, the red line that I am showing over here is the forward difference approximation. Okay. And alternatively, we can write dy by dx at i as y of i minus y of i minus 1 divided by x i minus x i minus 1. Okay. Just the way we had written it in this form, we can write it alternatively in this form. This becomes our central difference formula. Okay. And the central difference formula in this particular case is going to be nothing but the line joining uh, x i minus 1, y i minus 1 to x i y i. Okay. So, I will have this joined with a dotted line okay. and this I will call as backward difference. Okay. And the third possibility, uh, again a third possibility that you would have considered previously uh, is what is known as the central differences and in the central differences we will have dy by dx written approximately equal to y i plus 1 minus y i minus 1 divided by x i plus 1 minus x i minus 1. Okay. What that is, is it is nothing but the slope of the curve that joins the point uh, x i minus 1 y i minus 1 with the point x i plus 1 y i plus 1. Okay. So, it is slope of this particular dotted curve. Okay, I have not drawn it too well. Okay. So, I will just join it with another yellow dotted line over here. Okay. And this is the central difference. Okay. So, the yellow solid line is the true dy by dx, the true derivative of uh, the, the function y equal to f of x with respect to x at point i. The red solid line is the forward difference approximation. Uh, we can clearly see over here that the forward difference approximation uh, uh, of the uh, dy by dx is there is a fair amount of error associated with it. Uh, likewise, there is a backward difference approximation shown by this particular dashed line. Uh, there is a fair amount of error even in the backward difference approximation for this particular system. The slope of the, the dot, uh, dashed line in the central difference approximation turns out to be much closer to the slope dy by dx compared to either of those two red line segments that I have shown. Okay. So, that is the, uh, the whole idea behind using some of the forward and backward and central differences uh, in order to get the numerical derivatives or the approximations of the numerical derivatives uh, in uh, uh, given a function either given a functional form f of x or there is has to be some mechanism to generate the values of y given the values of x using some kind of a function of y equal to f of x. Okay.